welcome back to the 43rd episode of The Rule of Two here on the C Cinema Reviews channel. And today, I am, you know, I'm very happy that you guys decided to make us a little bit of part of your, your day and your week. And with me, as always, is Misa Sista. Hey, oh, can't wait till we get a 43rd Star Wars movie. Just saying. Yeah. In like yeah. 20 years. In, no, it'll be like 30. Thank you, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> we will have a lot of series, though, sit until then. Okay. That'll be that Maybe might I bring can us count up. on 43rd, 43 episodes. Mm, no, no, too much, too much. Anyway, anyway, today, uh, today, if you haven't noticed, this is a Star Wars show. Today we are going to be talking about. Um, we got a couple of topics. It's not like a huge week as far as news in Star Wars in 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 the Star Wars universe, but we have some some images from from. From the set of episode nine, which which looks like there's gonna be yet again yet another forest, uh, snowy planet. They love their snow. They love their snow, um, and forests. Um, <laughs> and then and so yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit. And then they we have uh, there's an issue there's a five issue run coming out about uh about. Um, the Black Spire outpost on Batu, which is where, uh, which is the setting of the the of the theme park or the section of the theme park that Star Wars uh, is, you know, Galaxy's Edge. That's what they're calling it, but it's like Star Wars Land, pretty much. That we're getting a five issue run about, um, and it takes place there. So we will get a little bit of history about the place before we get to go there. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. With that being said, we're very again, we're very glad to see, to, to have you guys back. You know, George, JJ, Benny Hoffman, Wise, Shmi, 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 Shmi. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like the like the video if you enjoy it. Comment down below if you have any of your own thoughts on this. And uh, yeah, let's 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 talk some Star Wars. So, mm -hmm. and spoilers for episode nine. Spoilers, absolutely spoilers for episode nine. So if you don't want to know anything, <sighs> bye. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, so we've Not got. Not that we know anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> George and JJ are in the comment section all the time. Right. George with his with his you yes. know. And Shmi, she she gives us all the scoops. Anyway, uh, so there's some set photos from 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 ep from episode nine, and it's a lot of snow. It's a lot of snow and a lot this? of trees, and it looks like we got a river in there, and then a building. Um, Maybe the caves. It Ooh, could caves. no. It could be. It it could look like Maz Kanata's place, like a broken down Maz Kanata's castle. Or maybe. maybe a new one. Or if she's building a new one, but like I'm surprised that. Um, yeah, so we got some snow, some trees, and some water. Like a river running through it, so so you know. I wonder how they got these pictures. Some dude just like hiked up. No, it's someone from the set. Why would they be allowed to? It's someone. It's it's. I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing spoilery about it. It's literally just photos of like trees and s fake snow. Okay. And a building that's being built, <laughs> you know. We're not exactly seeing Luke Skywalker in here. True. But anyway, yeah, I think this, um, uh, I think it looks cool. I think, um, we're getting another snow planet, and that's I'm fine. I'm done with the slow, snow really? planet. Really? Yes. Oh, man, we I think it's great. It. Because we get good fashion, you know, hashtag jacket speculation. <laughs> so, you know. No. We got, it's probably not Hoth, because last time when we went to Hoth, it was literally a barren desert place with no vegetation so this could be takadana which was where maz Kanata's castle was of just in the winter time uh, because there will be a time jump in between not eight and nine mm -hmm. um but yeah we got some snow back in star wars i just hope we don't have as much it's as, not salt uh, as much as i did enjoy the first sort of battle between ray and raylo 
Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want another battle in the snow. Give me something new, different. Right. Change it up, JJ. Oh yeah, JJ, JJ. Well, he's he's gonna do a great job. Um, he's gonna do a great job, and and the fact that there's a snowy planet that doesn't mean like too much because it was talking about like um that it's it's like there's 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 a there's kind of rumors that episode 9 will not just take place on like one or two planets that it'll take place on a diverse set of locations you well, know Well yeah that's the beauty of Star Wars is that we can be in one place for 10 minutes and right. then a completely different just like place. just like episode 6 it was like a good 20 30 minutes on on uh, Tatooine and then we go off to Endor right and then to the Death Star and yeah. it's pretty great. So that's... Well, did we go to Dagobah for a minute, too. Yeah, so Star Wars is very... I mean, it's nothing It's nothing that we haven't seen before. Yeah, yeah. And it could... Who knows? It could be a flashback to Starkiller Base, for all we know. True. So, yeah. It's, it's you know... There's, there's, there's that. JJ was the first to introduce flashbacks into the Star Wars universe, so... Well, Force Visions... Um, force backs. Force backs. <laughs> then we got force Skype. Oh, we're just I know. moving right along, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, I'm just waiting for 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 you know. Force I was forwards? yes, force <laughs> forwards. I'm waiting for visions of the future, which we already did get in episode five. Which which Luke anyway and, and arguably in episode seven. Maybe yeah, potentially in episode potentially. seven. Potentially. Hopefully. Um, Which JJ could do something with, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I really just want another Skywalker kid. I just want... I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we still have one. Kind of. Sort of. Kind of. She didn't even change her name back to Skywalker, or it never was Skywalker, but... Who? Leia. You're no, talking about... I'm talking about Kylo. I know. There's, I'm he never gonna never... rule out the possibility that he could, he could turn. Oh bother. I'm, I, I, you know, I don't think I, I have full faith that JJ's gonna axe him before he turns. But you can't kill Han Solo and then I know, expect I know. us to open our arms wide for this dude. I know. No I know. how good his hair is. Yeah, I know. I know. Anyway. It's so now there's no planet. That's great. Now it's more trees to throw a ray into. That's all good. And she could just get up and dust herself off. And exactly. Be completely fine. You cover you cover yourself with a force bubble. You absorb it just like Kylo did with the with Chewie's blaster right, bolt. That is totally canon. Totally knew that how is to do canon. that. She totally knew how to do that. <laughs> anyway. Been working on that trick for years. Yeah. Anyway, you know, she had buns on the back. It protected her head. <laughs> I don't think you understand the concept of puns. Well, no, but like they gave her cushion when her head hit the tree. She had three of them, not just one. It was three. Let's anyway, move on. anyway, yeah, let's 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 move on to to to. I mean, well, before we move on, go ahead and tell us your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are we going back to Star Killer Base for a flashback? Are we going to some other snow planet? Takadana. Is it Takadana in the winter time? You never know. You never know. We haven't seen we haven't seen a a location that has had more than one like like season. You know, huh. we went to Tatooine twice. Same same, <laughs> same desert. <laughs> yeah. We went to Dagobah. Same swamp. You know. Yeah, that's interesting. It would be interesting to see time, you know, time goes on. Yeah. It's it's only safe to assume that places would have different seasons. But, you know, that's 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 up for the the meteorologists of yeah, the, of the to, universe. Yeah, we'd have to spend a long period of time on a planet or go back to it at different times, yeah. which is what we're suggesting yeah. in order to see weather changes yes but tell us your thoughts in the comment section down below on what you think this is uh how many plant how many planets do you think we'll visit and and you know or locations we'll put locations because the death star wasn't technically a planet but you know it's a small moon <laughs> that's no moon <laughs> anyway how many how many how many locations you'll think we'll go to uh tell us down in the comment section down below let's move on 
to to a planet we may soon be visiting to a planet that we will soon be visiting <laughs> true um both in comic book form is it comic books yes comic book form and so there's a in the flesh there's a five issue run of um a series that we don't know what it'll be called um, but it's going to follow this an Ithorian antique collector, mm. Doc Ondar. What's Ithorian? Is that Ithorian is the Hammerheads? That does not Hammerheads. <laughs> that does not okay, matter. okay. We'll look it up for you. Ithorians. The Hammerheads. The Hammerheads. Oh, okay. Anyway, yes, Ithorians. It's gonna follow an Ithorian, who's an antique collector, on this planet of Batu in the in the Black Spire uh, outpost, which we which we visited a lot in Thrawn Alliances. So, um, you know, it'll it'll be a nice it'll be a nice little little history lesson for us. I assume um, it will it will you know maybe we will get to meet an Ithorian. You could meet Doc Ondar when yeah, you're you there. Yeah, you him. That would be pretty cool. Maybe he's that would a be gift shop really, selling stuff. That would be a really sweaty thing to do. Yeah, you know, yeah. like all the nerds would be like, dude, it's Doc. It's Doc. How he you could, doing, Doc? He could literally be selling stuff. That would be amazing. That would be incredible. That would be a fun job, too. Except putting on that suit every day would not be. Yeah, probably. It gets, but they would change people out. It's in L.A., though. I mean, Anaheim. So that that place would be sure. nice. I don't know about the Orlando one. That one might get hot. <laughs> <laughs> Just get some good AC. Make sure he's inside. You know, that's hot. Exactly. That's... Anyway, um, yeah. So, so, so there's going to be, you know, there's... Uh, it's ta- it, it, the Black Spire outpost months ahead of voyaging to Batu in person, armed with top secret sketches and information from Walt Disney uh, Imagineering um, and Lucasfilm. We are keeping this authentic to the spirit of this rich new setting. That's uh, Ethan Sachs. That's what he said about it. He's the series writer. Yeah, which is... Um, it's going to follow him and then apparently like a few stories that he's going to tell about his rare antiques. So it's, you know, um, there's there's also going to be one about uh, one, at least one of the stories will feature a mission with Han Solo and Chewbacca. Um, oh, maybe he sells them uh, <laughs> the metal that he had copied. Han Solo. Uh, that would be funny. Yeah. Um, Oh, look, there's a picture. There's a picture of Doc. Check out the variant cover of the first issue. Mm, mm-hmm. Oh, he's got a little droid. He's got oh, a li- that's like the droid from um, Battlefront 2. Kind of, bit. yeah. Just bit. probably like an older version. I, was there a but, Jedi uh, Ithorian? There yes, was. He there was like was. sleeping with yeah. Ahsoka. I mean, not sleeping with her. <laughs> they were doing something. <laughs> um, so dark. <laughs> <laughs> they were working at a computer or whatever they call them in Star Wars, and he falls asleep. I think. Oh. That's what I remember. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> He's very old, dude. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know, we have children watching. <laughs> Let's move on. I'm sorry, Shmi, that you had to hear that. Um, but yeah, it looks, so it looks like there's going to be stories. Maybe each issue is a different story. Maybe. Can't wait to see Han Solo. Yeah, Han Solo and Maybe. Chewbacca. Don't forget, yes. don't forget the best friend in all the galaxy. Um, yeah, best, <laughs> such a best friend, he would kill your kid. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if when you were trying to save him, would it not be amazing if JJ had Chewbacca kill him? Oh, uh, that would be that would be so great. Especially it would be perfect. Since, like so many people didn't have a reaction to Han's death. Like Leia had a small one. But she's always been that kind of person. Like, Ray had the on. biggest reaction. I know. Ray and Chewie did. She barely... Well, yeah, Chewie. I think... I, if it was me, I would have Chewie do it. Yeah, that would be nice. Because Ray... Ray's a hobo. I would have Chewie do it. <laughs> I would have... Yeah, uh, that, like... Because... I don't know. I don't know. Um. Anyway. Yeah. I, I think that this is going to be cool. Uh. It That story of Han and Chewbacca might be the reason why the Falcon is on Batuu at this p- point in time. You know? 
The what? The Falcon, because it's going to be there on Batu. Oh, I see what you're saying. So yes. maybe the story in the comic book, uh, maybe the story about them two is the reason why it's still there. Oh, and so when you go there, they're just stuck in this one time. Maybe they're not even there. Maybe you know. Are they gonna have Han Solo there? Well, it could be. It could be in the time in between six and seven where they didn't have it. I see what you're saying. Because yeah. when when Ray said when Ray talks about oh, the people who yeah. owned it, she doesn't say where they had it. She just said she got it from Uncar Plot, who got it from someone who got it from Duquesne. Yeah. Right. So maybe in that time, one of them took it to Batu. Um, anyway, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I think it's, I think it'll be nice to get, to get, uh, at least how it will look because it says that they got like, they got sketches from the people over at Lucasfilm on what this place is going to kind of look like. So you get a, you know, we'll get a comic book version of where we're going to go. That would be, that would be pretty cool. This, if this dude had a shop. (laughs) Even if it wasn't like a souvenir shop, if it was just like a little thing, if it was a shop. That would be amazing. All the sweaty, like the sweaty sweaties would know, you know, and that would be great. That would be great. It could be like, it could be like this, like this secret thing uh, in Star Wars land. Just knowing that the, knowing this guy is who is, is Doc. Like you go in there and you say, Hey Doc. How's it going? And, and then, then you he, get a free thing. And then you, you like, he, he shows you the back door and it's like you're at a sabak table. And it's just like, oh, dude. That would be so cool. <laughs> that would be amazing. That's, see, Lucasfilm, Lucasfilm, I will hand you Disney. my resume. I will hand you my resume. Let me get on this event planning committee. <laughs> Come on. You know, you know people would love that. You know people oh, would. Oh, that would be so cool if they did that. And then you walk in and like, there's somebody there from the Star Wars franchise, like one of the actors. That would be great. Well, I mean, it'd be tough. Yeah, but, but like, there's a lot of them. That would be, yeah, that would, that would be amazing. <laughs> you could have people like Wedge Antilles come in. I mean, first of all, we would have to, you know, we would have to actually create a game of Sabacc, you know, with rules and everything like they that. Have one. But that would be amazing. That would be the best secret thing ever. Like, it would get out there eventually. Right. You know, people cuz cuz some some idiot would vlog the thing. Uh, stupid vloggers, but some idiot would vlog the thing or some blog would get would would right. find it and then everybody would be going in there. But you know, for a limited time, for a limited time at the beginning, for like the first month, that would be an right. amazing thing to do. Just a backdoor sabak game that you have to know your Star Wars to get into. Yeah. That would be great. Release release that. I mean, I mean, don't even release that. Just release the rules for Sabak and 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 then just have that be a feature. See, that's the kind of thing that I would do in there. <laughs> Lucasfilm, Disney, like wouldn't that be amazing? You you can just you like give the person like just fake chips, you know? When you're out, you're out, you know? When you win, you win it all, you know? Yeah. It would be great. Yep. That would be amazing. Even if you're terrible, you would have so much fun because you're you're there with none of the other tourists. Right. None of the other tourists, and it would just be like the coolest story ever to be to go home and be like, yeah, I went to the place, I rode the rides, I ate the food, I talked to the aliens, I did this stuff, and you know what else I did? <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what I what I else I did? In and there was Jin or so. There was there was someone there. I was playing Sabacc with an actual Star Wars character. Yeah. You know, that would that, be great. You see a chiss in there? Some dude dresses up as a chiss? Dude, I would lose my mind. Yeah. So cool. Lucasfilm, Disney, come on. <laughs> come on. Just like. It'll be great. It's, it's, I know, I know. It'll be packed. I know you guys have events planned. I know you guys have a bunch of stuff planned. And I know something like that would like, you're going to have to pay these people to come in there. <laughs> But hey, you got all the money in the world. <laughs> you literally have all the I know. money in after the world. After Endgame, after Disney Plus, you know, as, after your streaming service comes out, you will be rolling. You will be driving in cars made out of money. Just do that. <laughs> just do stuff like that, where it's just like exclusive, and it's just such a cool experience. You know, yeah. that would be amazing. That would be. It would be so great. Thing, you know. Yeah. Can't wait for. 
Star Wars Land. If send me an email, Galaxy's Edge. I'll, I'll I'll give you that one for free. But the next one will cost you Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he says it on this podcast, then you could steal it. No, don't steal it. The next one, the next one will cost you Disney. I'm just that one. That one is so good that you know. That one is so good that you can have that one for free. But I th- I think I think that would be great. Doc Doc has his shop and then he's got the back door. You know he's got that back room with a sabog table. That would be great. Mm-hmm. Make sure it's well lit though, not like Solo. I want to see if someone's cheating. Whatever. <laughs> that movie's Oscar nominated. I know. I, I just I just want to make sure that nobody's cheating. You know what I'm saying? Keep your hands above the table where I can see them. Uh, we're looking at you, Lando. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Anyway, what are you, what are you, comic book issues, we're going to see the world that we're going to go to, we're going to, we're going to see some characters maybe that we'll see, it w- yeah, I think it's going to be good, I think it's be, yep. um, that's about it, that, I mean, uh, as far as news today, yeah, yeah, or during the week, we did get a, we, like, we had a lot of time on this, this world of Batu in this, the Thrawn Alliances book, which was pretty good, we got to see it in oh, two different is that times, one? yeah, yeah, we got to see Thrawn there. Is it the first planet or the second planet? The what? Was it the planet where um, spoilers for that book? Yeah, spoilers. Where Anakin blows it up and it kind of messes up the planet, or is it the first one where that guy is a bartender? At? The guy's a bartender. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I like I I'm excited for this this thing because it like it has real world implications. Sure. You could see actual locations and that would be pretty crazy to like to like get this comic and then take it when you go and then like show like be looking at the comic and then like put the comic down and it's just there. It's right in front of you. That would be amazing. Mhm. Anyway, get that get that backdoor Sabak game going Disney. You know what I'm talking about. Make make up the rules, make up the game, release them online, and then and then we're good. And then you know we're 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 good. Just you know, we watching them cheaters. We we watching them cheaters. <laughs> um, but yeah, that would be amazing. They like there's so much Disney. There's so much you could do. Anyway, that's just that's just me having some some great ideas. I'll be honest with you. It's a great idea. Head cannon. That's just me. I would love for Doc to have something like that in his shop. We he pro- he might not even have the shop at this at at the Galaxy's Edge, but it would be amazing. Anyway, that's our thoughts on it. I would like to know what you would like uh, in in to see in this in this uh, five issue run. I'd like to know what you guys would like to have at Galaxy's Edge when you go there. What kind of like cool events would you like to see what kind of secret things would you like to have there that only a few you know select and i'm not talking about vip people none of those no no pay extra 100 bucks to get to see stuff no no i'm talking about secret stuff that you don't you need to know star wars to get into you know yep not you i you i don't care if you're rich like if you get into the bar the park you should be able to do things like that yeah because that's that's awesome you know you could it, anyway. Anyway, tell us, tell us your thoughts, George, JJ, Benny, off and Weiss. What kind of cool things shmee, would shmee. you? Yes, yeah, me. Would you? What you know? What kind of cool things would you like to see at Galaxy's Edge when you go there? What kind of interesting things? Maybe w- would you like to see Doc have his own little shop there? Maybe it's a gift shop. That would be cool. But um, anyway, yeah. Tell us your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, we hope you had a good time. Uh, listening and watching this episode of the Rule of Two, we you know tell your friends about the show if you if 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 you want, give the leave the leave a like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already because uh, we do this every week pretty much. But yeah, thank you very much for for watching and listening to this episode and may the force be with you always. <laughs>